Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Nathan Dale. Um, unfortunately, still out for injury, but looking at coming back in the new year. Talking about a fight that's looking to be made um, in your division, John Wayne Hibbert, Tommy Martin. Uh, Tommy Martin's obviously holding the English belt. I don't know whether he still holds the English belt or um, he's vacated that or whatever, but um, it's a fight that you, you would like to fight either of them when you come back. How do you see the fight going if it gets made? That's a, that's a good fight, don't get me wrong, I mean, they're both buzzing at the moment, especially Tommy, I mean, he's going, he's just going up and up and up, fair play to him, I mean, but, with, for me, if I put money on it, I'd, um, I'd go for John Wayne at the moment, but, we'll see, anything can happen, but, I think, I think with John, John Wayne, I think, the, he's looking for different fights, I think he's looking for the, more, the bigger paydays, the, to get him up there, I think that's the sort of fight he wants now. He's, he's not getting any younger, but he want to get on. So, well, obviously, he's going on John Wayne Hibbert's last performance uh, against Dave Ryan. Unfortunately, sort of Dave Ryan picked up the injury, but that's what happens <coughs> in this sport. There's, you're you're all pushing your bodies to the limit, and injuries do occur. So, going on that performance, do you feel as if he's going to build on that and go into the fight with Tommy Martin and look to make an impression if it gets made, of course? Well, to be, look, in boxing, you need a little bit of luck. What anyone says. You have to have that bit of luck to, to progress, and to, John Wayne had that luck that day. It was fight. It was a it was a fight. Where I thought he wasn't winning at the time. Maybe people disagree, but I um, I think he was losing. But he got the luck. He had the luck in his in his corner that night. Fair play to him. I mean. And then on the flip of the coin, you got Tommy Martin. Obviously, like you say, on the up. Um, steamrolling through opponents. Really, sort yeah. of. There's no stopping him. Um, beating people that. He's not supposed to have beaten. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. So, how do you see him going into a fight with John Wayne Hibbert? Well, look, look, you're saying the kid's buzzing. The guy is absolute buzzing. I mean, look, say he's he's beating guys, men. Like say men, because like say Tommy's still young, very young, twenty one or twenty two or something, and he's he's stopping them. And so, give him that. That's fair. But I don't know. I think the experience of a twelve round fight. I've got, I'm still going with John Wayne with that, I, just, I can't, I don't know, I, just John Wayne for me. There we go, Nathan Dale's opinion on the Tommy Martin, John Wayne Hibbert fight. Hopefully we see you in the ring with one of them in the new year, and oh. then we'll see what happens. That's it, one more fight, get a couple more little, little warm-up fights, and then hopefully I'll be let off now, and then we crack on with a bigger fight. I mean, that's what I want, hopefully they want it as well. To be honest as well, I mean, people are going to get bored to keep watching these guys fight each other. They need to start seeing new blood in there. There's, there's lots of guys out there in the light weight division, such as like Johnny Coyle. I mean, he's getting, he's getting ducked about. There's me. We're, we're dark horses, us two. I mean, no one realistically wants to fight us. So we we'll, we'll see. There we go. Light weight weight division, watch yourself. Ah, uh, 100%. So, we'll see. Nathan Dale is coming 2016. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, Nathan.